Rockets are one of the most advanced things made by humankind. How does rocket propulsion work, and what are the types of chemical fuel rockets? We need to first discuss the basic principles of a rocket. What is a rocket? A rocket is basically a spacecraft that propels itself by using its engines to produce thrust. This is the pressure profile inside the combustion chamber. Combustion creates pressures on the top, the bottom, the front, and the back of the casing. The top and bottom forces can be eliminated because it doesn't contribute to the leftward force. There is no surface on this back casing for the pressure to act on, so we can also eliminate it. Now we can see that there is a remaining leftward force created by the pressures inside the combustion chamber. Thrust. These are the three things needed for combustion. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. The chemical reaction between these three things is converted into heat energy and work energy. Heat energy is released during the combustion of the fuel and work energy is just the rocket's ability to launch itself off the ground. There are two main categories of chemical fuel rockets, liquid propellant and solid propellant. These are the parts of a liquid propellant engine. To create combustion, liquid fuel and liquid oxidizer are pumped by turbines and then get atomized into tiny pieces. Once the propellant enters the combustion chamber, the mixture is sparked by an igniter. Finally, the exhaust is directed out of the engine by the drill and nozzle. These are the parts of a solid propellant rocket. In this case, the fuel and oxidizer are mixed and stored in a solid state called grain. The grain is stored in the combustion chamber which is elongated. To create combustion, the grain is sparked by an electrically activated igniter. Finally, the exhaust is directed out of the engine by the throat and nozzle. Grain geometry affects the thrust output of a rocket. These are the thrust time graphs for each grain shape. The graphs are all different because the surface area of the grain at any instant is proportional to its thrust. The area under the curve represents the momentum gained by burning the grain. A thrust that increases over time is called progressive. A thrust that decreases over time is called regressive. A constant thrust is called neutral. Today, innovations in rockets are opening up more possibilities to explore further into space than ever before. Whether we explore the moon, Mars or beyond, the future of space exploration is just blasting along.